All right, so we're back at the printer and let's go to settings, network. So here we can scan a QR code. We're gonna use our camera. All right, it takes us to a website looks like. Click confirm. So it takes us to Google Play for the Anycubic app. We'll click install. All right, let's open it up. We gotta agree to stuff. Click the login. Now I'm gonna log in. Signing in. And from here we can add the printer. Let's see if we can scan it. I think it's the same barcode. And there it goes. It says printer added successfully. Complete. And there we go. We have all of our stats there. So here we can see we got the printer, the nozzle temperatures there, the print button, got a help button, our ACE Pearl filaments there. See there's details. So you can see a little more detail here. So you can click on each one to edit it, things like that. So on the bottom here we have tools. You can move the axes from here. History, no print jobs. So yeah, it looks pretty intuitive. So now we do have the options to use the cloud or we can click here, local disk. And we do have the dual color calibration cube that we can print straight from here so let's go ahead and start that so here we can toggle some options if you had a camera you can turn that on automatic bed leveling vibration compensation and time lapse so we'll leave them all off and on the bottom there it says start now when we do that the printer should start and there it goes but yeah i just realized i was out of the screen but yeah while we're printing we should have a preview here but we don't for whatever reason so here we have the time passed how much is left the layers out of 100 so here's the status it's preheating and you can cancel or pause and if we keep scrolling down we have more parameters we have standard printing and you can change that to quiet or sport nozzle temperature bed temperature and you can adjust it all by clicking on it and setting it which is quite helpful fan speed and then we have more about the model down here so yeah pretty intuitive app and everything seems to work very well also guys on the home page down here we can see we're on the workbench this is where our printer is and it has recommended models but we can also search for models that are in the cloud so you can pretty much print straight from your phone if you wanted to and they have quite a few interesting things in here including color prints which would be very really cool to print for the ace pro so i might print some stuff out of here and over here we have me which is your account and everything that has to do with that so yeah pretty awesome and a great app overall that complements the cobra 3 combo here So printing a normal print, like a single color out of the four that you have in the ACE is very simple. You just choose your file, and then you click on print, and it's going to give you an option of the four that you have, and you can choose whatever you want. So I'm going to choose a green one for this, and then you just print it. And as simple as that, you can choose any of the four for your single regular files. So we're printing another print and I don't know if I mentioned this but if you click on any of these you can you know change the parameters of that specific thing but what's pretty cool is that if you're printing color prints or multicolors like we are right now and by the way I forgot to turn on my filament box PLA let's say eight hours should be good okay I guess another thing that I didn't mention is filament backup and so what filament backup does is it uses the same color roll let's say you have two blue ones so whenever one runs out it'll use the second blue one and continue printing so that's really cool if you're gonna print something you know more large or I guess not so much large in this printer than just finishing a roll and starting another one which is pretty good feature too but the one that's quite important down here is called the purge volume and this one here if we click on the question mark it explains that if you have color bleed in the print between the colors you can add more purge time or value 
And I think it started with 1.0 and I turned it to 2.0 because I did have some color bleeding. But yeah, this is quite helpful and we can see it's from 0.1 to 3.0. So yeah, I should probably turn this down to 1.5 as I am on a different print now. That should be much better. So yeah, that could be quite useful if you have that issue. But yeah.